Uh, today I wanted to do a new series called Then vs. Now. These are my opinions and I will continue to create more for this channel. And this is the DR channel. The first one for the series is the 1999 to 2000 Honda Civics SI, aka the EM1, which is sold in the US and in Canada, aka CDM, which is known as the SIR. Uh, now we're going to focus on the US model since that's where I live. Then there was the EM1, which came with a B16A2. Uh, it has a 1.6 liter four cylinder pushing 160 horsepower and 111 foot pounds of torque. It had variable valve timing, which is called a V Tech. Uh, the engine got about 26 city and 31 miles to the gallon highway, which is pretty good for the time. It weighs about 2,519 pounds, and the 0 to 60 time was about 7 seconds. As a standard, it came with power windows, sunroof, uh, four disc brakes, ABS as an option but came standard in the SIR, and it had a five-speed manual only, which is good, good, save the manual. A cool fact, they only came in three colors, the Milano Red, Electron Blue, and Flamenco Black Pearl. SRP for the 1999 to 2000 EM1 is, was around roughly $17,985, which in today's inflation is roughly about $27,000. It's actually my favorite SI to this day. Personally, the modifications are limitless. The appearance with just a little bit of, of accents like fog lights, a smaller spoiler, mud flaps, window visors, lip spoiler, rear front would make it look way better. It's hard to find nice examples of EM1s and very good pristine condition ones sold for about $50,000. That's freaking insane. Man. Now, there is a 2022 Honda Civic SI, aka the FE1. It has an L15CA 1.5 liter four cylinder with a turbocharged engine. It has a double overhead cam and that turbo pushes 17.8 PSI, which is pretty good. It has 200 horsepower, 192 foot pounds of torque. It has a VTC, which is variable timing control. Uh, I think it's the predecessor to VTEC. It only comes with a six speed manual. Again, save the manual transmissions it gets 27 city and 37 highway which is actually more efficient than the em1 i was surprised just as much as you are now it does weigh shy of 3,000 pounds so it's a little bit heavier the 2022 honda civic si comes in six colors which is blaze orange egan egan blue metallic crystal black pearl platinum white pearl rally eye red and sonic gray pearl which is my favorite color personally personally i think we should just keep the four colors that milano red that electron blue pearl the flamenco black and then that gray pretty cool features like a limited slip differential aka the lsd not the drug the three mode driving you can select normal sport and a customizable individual mode which is kind of cool zero to 60 time in 6.8 seconds which is surprisingly slow in all fairness that twenty seven thousand dollar price tag with high performance tires isn't that bad of a price it's the same as it was 22 years ago it's kind of like arizona iced tea it just didn't go up personally the new style is a lot better than the old generations the new interior is cleaner. It's a lot sportier on the exterior. I hope to see a lot more performance package versions like the HFP and maybe the Type R, which I heard is going to come out soon. And I personally think, like I said, this version looks way better than last year's sedan. And I would have chosen this version if they made the coupe version the way that it looks right now as that sedan. Like, just imagine taking out those two doors. Well, anyway, that's today's episode of the Then Versus Now, and I'll be making more of this, including the new Integra. So please, like, subscribe, and comment.